old level. You are not a human being. I didn't even- I- I try- I attempted to give it to you. You're so bad that you can't even steal a blue buff. That is unreal. It's always the worst people that spam laugh. How is it going, boys and girls? Darb guy here, and welcome back to another rank conquest video. I almost said duel because I'm so used to that, you know. 250 duel videos will do it to you, but welcome back to a ranked conquest video. And today we are playing Bastet solo because I wanted to try out the current build that. Uh, well, not the current build because I'm not doing the whole build, but the current the current start that a lot of solo laners are doing, um, and that is just Yoten's first item. It's weird, I don't know where it's coming from, but all the Wukong players are doing it, all the Surger players are doing it, like, all the Assassin solo laners are doing it. Every single player in solo is like building, not every, but most are building Yotans right now. I don't really know why, and I guess that's what we're here to find out, see if it's any good. Maybe, even if it's good, maybe it's just good on Bastet, or maybe it's bad because it's Bastet, you know? It could be either one. He's taking an incredible amount of minion damage there. I don't know what he's doing. But, um, I might be taking a little little bit of bites for my food while we're recording because it's finals week and I don't have time to, you know, waste. But I'm sure you won't mind too much. I got some chicken to fries and some mozzarella sticks here. I ate the mozzarella sticks already. How's it going, everyone? It is finals week, so I ha I took two of my finals already. Um, I took my first final yesterday, and it's annoying because it was public speaking. And I took all of the public speaking notes five weeks ago. I just went ahead of time and took all of the notes so I wouldn't have to worry about it. And then I opened it up during the test, and then they were all just gone. I don't know where they went, but I was literally- I had to do the test without notes. And it was an open notebook test, which is the annoying part. I still passed. I passed that class with a 90%. And then last night, after I recorded, I spent eight and a half hours per, uh, preparing for my organismal final, because I have to get a decent score on this final to pass the class. And so I, I prepared a lot, and then I thought the test was at 10 a.m. So I woke up at 9, and then I head, start, was going to start heading over at 9.40. Turns out the test was 8 to 10. So I woke up, got ready, and then my friend texted me and gave me a heads up, and then I sprinted over, got there at 9.30, and had 30 minutes to complete a two-hour long test. Which I did, by the way. I had to guess on some of the answers, not because I didn't know them, but because I had no time. <laughs> but I, I got there and I finished the test. I, I got a 72% on the exam, and it was high enough of a grade for me to pass the class, so... I passed two classes, and then tomorrow I have two more finals. One in psychology and one in um, statistics. My, my psychology grade right now is like 97%, so I'm not at risk of failing that class at all, so I'm not worried. My Also, I'm not a psychology major. It was just an easy elective I took because I needed an easy elective. And since I'm a second semester freshman, most of the classes were taken, so... I just kind of had to take it. And it was a very easy class and really not boring, so I don't regret it. But I passed three classes, and then currently I have a 74% in statistics. And the um, final exam, the one I'm taking tomorrow, in statistics is worth 20% of my total grade. Which means I need to get at least a 40% on this exam to pass the class. Which sounds easy, until you realize I don't even know how to do half of chapter 11. It's chapter 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. I passed all the other chapters. They're all in the final, but I passed like the... Since they do Bull Demon, the Camelzelts is probably nearby. But I passed them all, except 11, and I haven't even finished chapter 11 in the finals tomorrow. So getting a 40% might be incredibly hard. So I am worried about that class, I'll be honest. Hopefully I can get a 40% because if I do, I pass all four of my classes and then I don't have to worry about them anymore. It's not really about the 
um, irritatedness of having to do it, but it's more about the fact that, um, I don't want to have to pay another thousand dollars to take the class again. And then I also don't want to have to take the class again, because currently I'm working towards graduating a year early, so I want to keep up to that. Yeah, there's the run down. I hope I passed this st uh, statistics test. Okay, he wasted his ult. If I pass it, I'll be so happy. I still have so much to do, and I have to pack up all my stuff. I have to go to the store and get a new cat carrier, because... Salem, are you fucking with my plant again? Stop. I have to go get a new cat carrier, because Jinx ruined the other one. But yeah, this week has been incredibly stressful and busy, and it's not gonna stop. <laughs> Not for a while. What is this King Arthur doing? Okay, he disconnected, but he also spam laughed earlier. Or he didn't spam laugh, but he, he laughed a few times, so... I'm definitely- I wish Monkey didn't come over here just to take my kill. That's a little annoying. He hasn't helped my lane a single time. He's quite literally only hurt, you know? Because that could have been a kill I had, but he came over and literally just took it. I mean, I didn't deserve it, you know? I didn't, like, do anything special for it, but... It's still just annoying when junglers never help your lane but then take a kill from you. But if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to let me know by liking and subscribing and mean the world to me. I'm almost to 750. I'd love to hit 750 by my birthday, which is in the middle of this month. And then I'd also like to hit 1000 by the end of the year, which is looking incredibly likely. So, you know, it's one button. If you've made it this far in the video, you must be watching for something. So, I right, let's subscribe. I post every single day. So, a lot more Smite content for you to enjoy. There's not too many Smite content creators out there, I don't think. Not too many I know of, at least. We are against the King Arthur, though, as Bastet. I do want to go tank Bastet, by the way. I'm just starting with the Jotuns because I want to see the start in lane. Honestly, it feels not that good. I mean, it doesn't really feel that different from the Transcendent Star, so maybe it's better because I have uh, more cooldowns. I really don't know. But um, we are against the King Arthur in lane, and early on, as you saw, I played very boring because it's a King Arthur, and if I ever jump, <laughs> if I ever jump in, I just die, literally, so I need to just play kind of safe. Okay, what is this? Uh, he accidentally jumped my whip. That is not up. Honestly, the cooldowns feel kind of good. Alright, that was a brainless moment. I don't want to get hit through the wall, so I'm gonna go to the safest spot. I'll take these. But yeah, I kind of have to play safe in the beginning, because if I ever jump in, I just die. But I can't kill him if I play my cards right. I've played this matchup many times. I probably I've played this matchup. Oh, I should have just. I want wards, but I'm not min maxing. Um, I played this matchup probably like a half a dozen times. I do want to go tank best. Set. I want to find the start where I could be a tank, but also still one shot someone if they don't have beads. So I could like jump in or blink in maybe three two. One or three alt to jump in, and then they'll die. But I'm still also tank. That's the that's the kind of start I want to find. No way, Gilly, man. Lord Finitus, holy shit! That's kind of a smart back. I mean, he almost died. If that if that if that Yana stops his back, I don't think he dies. Can I do anything here? No. Oh, he doesn't die even if I land the chomp. If I just timed the beads half a second later, that Kamazot dies. That's so sad. King Arthur is also just giving up his blue buff. Like, this is what I mean. It's all the bad players that spam laugh.
play him up first. If you play him up second, you're justified. Him and the Kamazots are duo, I'm pretty sure. I am just estimating, but they were beside each other in the... Um... In the loading screen, and they're also communicating pretty heavily on this Bull Demon. Which I couldn't contest early game, because, you know, like I said, if I ever jump in, I die. Kamazots beats me in a 1v1 right now, and if I ever jump in, I die to... Oh, even a really bad King Arthur still kills me. I don't even know if I can kill him. There's an entire minion wave here. His Kamazot's boyfriend's probably come back. Yeah, there he is. That's so sad. No! He's gonna die, but I want the kill! Thank god. I thought Monkey was taking another kill. Come on, Kamazots. You can't- your boyfriend's dying again. I really don't like this build so far, I'll be honest. If I can get his ult done, that'd be huge for my team. That would've hit too. Um, without- Kamazots without his ult has a lot less kill potential and survivability, so he's gonna have a hard time ganking until that comes up. So I think that's very high value. Maybe I'm wrong. My, my ult is... my kill potential when I'm not trying to kill the King Arthur, but... I mean, I'm gonna be in lane for the next 50 seconds anyway, so... I think that was value. I just don't like- I don't know. Because I know I'm a solo laner, I should be tanky and I should instigate. I just don't like- Like, I like Bastet in solo lane, but tank Bastet doesn't feel that good. I just need to figure out the build, because no one else is playing Bastet in solo right now, so... Like, the only player I know, and I don't even know them, I just see him in, like, weekend videos, is Alpha. Alpha Claps. And, um, I don't really know what he builds in solo. I think he just goes full damage, but maybe... maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, you're taking an incredible amount of damage to minions. Yeah, this King Arthur does not really know how to play that character. Neither do I, to be fair. I want to get my Jotun's Vigor online because that's a really good lane item. I want to be careful with my jump. His boyfriend's here again, believe it or not. That's three ganks in what, a minute and a half? Okay, that's an eight moment. You just killed yourself to try to kill me? And you missed everything. You are all you are horrendous in this game. Aw, oh, you you and your little boyfriend can't kill me. Are they fucking four man ganking me right now? They are four man ganking me right now. I'm definitely dead here, but if I can keep them here for a little bit, I think they four for one for me. Which is incredibly valuable. There's no way they actually just 4 for 1 suicide traded for me. There's no way. The King Arthur dies. There's no way. <laughs> they just 4 for 1 suicide traded for me. That is incredible. That is in that is amazing for our team. Oh my god, say you're 3 stacking in gold. That's saying. They might even be 4 stacking to be fair. But like again, I'm just estimating. I could be just completely wrong. I mean, I know the Kamazots and the Arthur. I'd be willing to bet they are. They're both really bad and also camping right side. That is so funny. We, you know how much value we get from that? Four deaths for me is incredibly good for us. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Witcho baby. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Kamazots is two levels down just off the fact that one, he's bad, and two, he's camping. What is this? You you don't win this trade. I mean, like, I have just so much more sustain than you. I'm gonna just go through the different starts in the next few videos, I think. Well, next few solo videos. 
So I do want to play a lot more um, mid. Like, you're just taking so much minion aggro. That all was just a pressure ult, by the way. He cannot land a single ability. He really cannot land an ability. I feel like I'd be getting so much- I mean, I, I would probably have died twice or once at least um, by now if I was full damage. I don't know, I just- uh, It's weird trying to find a mid ground for tank pass dead. Okay, well I thought there was gonna be some action going on over here and there was nothing, so I think this was one of the worst rotations. Should I go mid? I don't even think so. No way. You're dead. Am I dead too, though? He- I cannot believe he lived that. <laughs> I got so much. I got like two- I got like two of their ultimates down and like two or three relics. And a kill, that's so incredibly valuable for us. We got Shao, Beads, Aegis, and two ults. What? How are you still managing to feed my enemy solo lander? I'm not even there. That's incredible. Next, I think, is it weird to go Titans, man? I don't know. Because this is what I mean when I said that you should just follow what the better players are doing, but... No one's playing best set in the solo lane, except me. So... There is really no build. I'm gonna go Titan's Bay next, I think, for some pen. That might be dumb, maybe I should just go Crusher, because my targets are the squishies. He's here again. Little man is my f biggest fan. Kill someone, boy kill someone's boyfriend, then all of a sudden, their other boyfriend will get upset. Like, what's that about, man? Why are you so upset? Okay. Oh, you loved him? Yeah, sure you did. Okay, sure you did. Alright, that's an atrocious ult. I did not mean to Aegis. Why are you laughing? I just wanted you one you. Like, what? You suck. Your boyfriend camping you is still not enough for you to beat me. It's literally not possible for you to get more assistance than you're getting. And it's still not enough. I could have waited one more second and hit him and the totem. That would have been nice. Uh, the cat's gonna die. I don't know where Kamazots is at, and he likes camping this lane, so... Gotta be ready for him. I only have one defensive item at this point, so at this point I'm still very killed. One physical defensive item. My monkey's level 19. He is farming. I'd be level 17 if someone didn't take my undeserved kill. Okay. I know I didn't I didn't deserve it, but neither did he. To be fair, it's probably better that he gets it so he can get more gold and get more value with his ganks, but you know. Big number. See that three? That could be a four at the top. Four and two. Looks a lot better than 3 and 2, you know? 
kind of want to go Titans next. I just don't know what to build. Do Not for tank. I don't want to go full, full tank, like, four defensive items. I, I want a little bit more damage. I think Crusher is probably the better play, but I think I'm going to go Titans no matter what, because we're, we're, we're testing stuff out, right? We're cooking. Salem, don't knock my plant over. My plant's starting to sprout. It's been like a week since I got it, and the uh, the, the sprout is finally above the soil. Happy little fellow. This might be the bad rotation. My tower is 9 HP. If someone wants it, they could just walk in and have it. I don't think I care that much. Oh, I timed it. I timed it right, but I thought he was gonna juke. He didn't juke, he just walked in a straight line. What a madman. Let's get through Lou's death. The Squidward. I'm just a Squidward man. I'll be honest, you are you just killed yourself, Nate. We could have got you out, but instead, you walked back in again, you're dead. You deserve death. You did that to- oh, you, only you did that to yourself. You could've lived like four separate ways, and you did everything wrong. I don't- I- I like did a fourth of his HP with that combo. We really didn't get that much <laughs> off this rotation. We got one more kill than them. Wow. <laughs> Nothing came of it. See, that's like one of those non-meaning... I've had two non-meaningful rotations, which is something I gotta get better at. Rotating only when it matters. Tower is still standing. I don't know how. I feel like I haven't gotten gold in so long. There's always something going on. I don't want my teammates to die. I think I'm playing too altruistically. I could damage test on Agni. Did he Aegis or did I just not do that much damage? Okay, if unupgraded Bluestone, Yotans, and Tier 2. Titan's Bane did like 75% of his HP. I think getting a full Titan's Bane and a Blue Stone would actually have killed him. I just don't know. I feel like Transcendence should be better than Yotans, but I really don't know if it is. I guess Pen. Maybe Transcendence Crusher is better than this. I think Crusher and Yotans is better. I will say. But I do also want to go Titans. I got glitched out of my best at jump. Okay, Yan has died somewhere. I think he got 1v1 and left, maybe. Oh, Kerbis is in lane. He just died somehow. <laughs> in lane. Was he like behind them or something? I have another ult. Okay, so I, if I would have jumped, I probably would have done like 10% more damage. So I probably do like 65 to 70 percent of his health with my alt combo. Crusher would put work here. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know it would. I really do. Fifty-six a tick. Like 224 damage, I think. I keep getting stunned. I just got stunned out of my jump. I was in the air and it made the noise. That Agni Divine is cooking me though. I'm trying to lifesteal and stuff. Yon's Vigor doesn't really give that much lifesteal to be fair. Not as much as like Soul Leader. Maybe Soul Leader is still a good start to go. Maybe we can kill this guy. So. That King Arthur is atrocious. Says the guy who wasted his Aegis to spam off. 
Why do I even get Aegis? What, what, am, what am I gonna Aegis? Like a single Camazot's ability? And then die to the second one? Like, what am I gonna Aegis? This Aegis was a bad pickup. I wish I went Beads for, if nothing, the cooldowns. Or Shell. I feel like I am peeling a lot, but neither of their tanks are, like, competent. So I need to stop peeling, I think. Cause like, I'm trying- they have triple dive, so I'm trying to stop the... Camazots, Cthulhu, and Arthur from getting on my team. That's what I've been doing, but... I think I might get more value, because the tanks are just playing passive, and the Camazots is bad. So I think I might get more value... ...going with the monkey. Hey, how are you always right in front of danger? God damn it. I cast it at the second he casted his ult. Ult timings by me need to be a little better. Can I have? Damn it. I can't get any kills, man. I have 3k gold, I'm backing. You guys can do that if you want. I'm backing. Then last time we'll get like a robe. Maybe the plan is getting... Glad Shield. Glad Shield, Mantle, and then the rest damage. Okay, we're dying. He has ult, so I don't want to ult him. This Neath is just always killing herself. You're dead, I don't know why you're spam lapping. Like what? It's always the worst players who spam out first. Agni? So I didn't even know they had an Agni. I'll be honest. How did we lose three people during that fight? And I know Yanis just killed himself. How did the other- I mean, Neath also just kind of killed herself. What happened to the monkey? How does monkey have more damage? I mean, I guess I am tank. Bastet, you know, tank Bastet isn't... Most known for her damage. <laughs> I'm so tired. I was up till 3 a.m. And I woke up at 8.45. So technically almost six hours of sleep. With someone with insomnia, that, that six hours was a lot less than six. Don't. Don't do my speed again. Okay. I need, ta I need my tax money. Don't do my speed again. Don't to do my speed again. He's not talking to me, did I, is he? Did I do his speed? I think he's talking to the Neath. Maybe I did his speed. I don't think I did. Okay, this is bad. Uh, in even work, my rotations this game have been bad. I mean, I guess the whole enemy is here. Bacchus, you did not jump in, man. Why? Why would you do that? Nice. The fact that me and Bacchus took- mostly Bacchus took all of their aggro. Came in such huge value. I'm very killable here. So I need to be careful. I do feel tanky. I 
I think I'm soaking so much attention here, though. So I think I'm doing a pretty good, good job. So with Basta tank, you don't really go in and tank all the damage in the game. You're just meant to be like as big of a distraction as you can be. While also pumping out some decent damage, or maybe getting a pick, you know? I think they're both fine. Just making sure they both know. I really want my bluestone. My farming was not the best this game either. I played way too altruistically. I would see my teammates in like a somewhat dangerous spot, then I would rotate over to try to make sure they make it out. But I kind of made it so I didn't really. I mean, I did play very well. I just didn't end up getting a lot of the last hits. But I could have played better if I just played more independently and focused on myself more rather than protecting my team. There's nothing wrong with protecting your team, but I think I overdid my altruism. So that should be enough for a blue stone, and my damage should be decent enough to... Uh, one-shot somebody. I might have to take a nap. I am... I am so, so exhausted. <sighs> Finals week needs to end, man. Okay, I'm gonna start going on the back line here. Or at least distracting the back line more. Or Camazots. That's not horrible damage for one ability. I actually have a lot of HP 5. I don't want to use my ult here. I feel like I had, yeah, if I didn't use my ult, I think he dies. Maybe I could have chased him, but it wouldn't have been a fast kill. Okay, uh, when I said group up 50 times, I actually meant split push mid and then lose the 1v2. Yeah, and that was very smart. All of the work we put in just nullified by our mid laner feeding. Maybe we can kill this guy. I should not have jumped. I mean, I'm not gonna die here, but... Let's do. Get a power pot. It'd be very bad if my monkey dies here. Salem, it's an empty can of tuna. If you want more tuna, I can get you some after this game. You don't need to drag it around like that. Hey. Calm down. It actually looks... hard. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I have so much to do for my test and for moving out to go back home. No rest for no rest for the weary. Yeah, I don't like this build. I'll be honest. This is why people don't make their own builds. By people, I mean me specifically. I mean, really, not many people should make their own builds. But not gonna lie, I don't. Th I don't think we win this. Yanis is horrible, and to be honest, your all ain't that good. What? I mean, he's playing all right, but like, this is a gold level. You are not a human being. I didn't even- I, I try- I attempted to give it to you. You're so bad that you can't even steal a blue buff. That is unreal. It's always the worst people that spam laugh. But this is gold, you know? So the came or the monkey having an ego and gold is insane. I wonder if I played more than one game a day for an entire season where I'd end up. Honestly, probably like plat one diamond five. Around that range, I'd guess. Yeah, 
Did he get a massive ass shield? Why did why did he lose like no HP? Camazos is just gonna sit there away from me. That's really good for us. Our niche should be able to get a lot of value. Yeah, Camazos is hard trolling right now. I mean, he was fanboying me over, uh, fanboying over me all game, so very expected. This King Arthur is not a human being. He's just not. Plus four of this monkey's kills are mine. Like if we take out the kills that he took from me, I'm like 11 and two and he's like 14 and five. He's not even doing better than me. Plus I'm Tank Bastet. <laughs> tank Bastet is definitely not good by the way. I don't know if I ever said that. I like cooldown that this guy dies. Maybe that's what I should have won second relic. This Aegis has been worthless. Or just like a cooldown beads. Dude, this guy keeps accidentally jumping all my shit. Me getting a Zelda down with mine is huge value though. That means he can't safely dive the back line. I'm down to make that trade all game. Holy shit, that Charybdis hurts. Damn. Hopefully we can end here. It's just hard in low ranked games to get your teammates to group up. They just never do. I definitely win that trade. Yeah, I have health demon. I'm full health. Scamazots and King Arthur duo is like the duo of trolling. Like if you end up with the, this duo on your team, you should just literally surrender and go next. I can take this tower if my Neath comes with me. Enemies have returned to base. I need like a nap or something, I really do. I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna be able to prepare for everything for my statistics. They do have a ward here, but if I stand here, Agni's only gonna look at me. Yeah, Kamazots is afraid to step out because of me, Agni's only looking at me. And my team's able to just kill their Inting Arthur. Me just standing here, he gets so much value. Oh, we're going in. I'm here. And they're all dead. Okay. I'll be honest, I got carried through this fight. <laughs> the Bacchus just kind of... Bacchus, Neath, and Monkey just kind of... And I think... I don't really know how much Janus did, but I, I that last fight I did kind of get carried. Nonetheless, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your night. Peace. So I want to they fuck you and leave Hope that every day you shit scratches your face and you bleed No one even comes out cause you just